Welcome back to Full Scholarships live video series. In this video, we'll be discussing about the GIST South Korea scholarships, which are fully funded for masters and PhD. So we'll show the full for this. Before that, let me channel full scholarships and do follow us on Instagram page as well. All the scholarships are posted here. Before posting, we verify them and then publish here. You can check out the link for this uh, GIST scholarship in the video description below. Links are given in the respective description of each of the videos. So any of the scholarships that you pick, link will be given in the video description. Or you can check out about section of the YouTube, link is also given there. And in the Instagram bio or story, you can check out the link. And you can also directly visit our website fullscholarships.net or cashmanlook.com. You can see all the scholarships are published there. For this particular opportunity, deadline is 22nd, uh, 2nd of October 2025. And this is fully funded for students. So you can study your master's and PhD in the GIST. And uh, this is provided by the South Korean uh, ministry. So all the international students can complete the uh, education for the masters and PhD through South Korean ministry of science and technology. So all the related subjects regarding engineering and medicine are there. So you can see the fields that are offered at the GIST Institute, starting from the electrical engineering to computer science and all the AI policy and strategy as well. And uh, it's a fully funded deadline is uh, 2nd October 2025 this year and course will be starting next year eligibility criteria so basic eligibility criteria is there that you should hold the uh, final degree before enrollment at the GIST so you should be graduated at the time of applying to this and you should have your bachelor's or equivalent to the Korean education system and you shouldn't be proficient in the English language. Besides, you should have good academic record. And if you have any extracurricular activities, you can submit them as well. So it's a fully funded. All the benefits are listed here. It will cover 100% of the tuition fee around uh, 3 million 6 uh, lakh one per semester. And uh, you will receive a monthly stipend of uh, 1.4 hundred thousand uh, won and for phd you will get a monthly stipend of around 3 lakh won and then for meal allowances you will be receiving 100,000 won and uh, you should maintain the gpa of 4.5 out of 5 or 10 respectively for the masters and phd and with this you will also receive a research assistantship of uh, 6.4 uh, lakh and then you will also receive the research grant for the phd uh, 1.3 million and then they will be reimbursing you once a flight in a year so that it will be from to and fro from your home to country to the destination and you'll also have interaction with the top Korean universities regarding your research so scholarship requirements for this application requirements that you have to fulfill is the online application official degree and transcripts you have to apostyle them through the Korean embassy and have the stamp on them. Then two recommendation letters, official passport and the language test. If you have completed your, uh, your education previous degree in the English language, then you don't need the IELTS and TOEFL. But it is an edge for you if you have TOEFL, IELTS or similar spoke. And then uh, you should complete the process within the timeline of 2nd October. And by the 15 days of the submission you will receive the first decision and we'll show the full process for this the results will be declared by the 4th of december 2025 this year and now we'll show you the process simply scroll down at the end we have given the two buttons apply now so click on this apply now button now once you click on that you can see you'll be redirected to the official gist uh, university website where this is the admission portal for the foreigners or international students and you can see important notes is published there in the important notes, they can you can see all the documents, recommendation letters, and application form must be submitted by the 2nd of October before 5 p.m. Korean standard time. So you should equivalently convert it to the uh, your country. So you can see all the benefits of the scholarship for international students is mentioned here. And similarly, online application is given here. So let's uh, sign up first. And we'll simply submit here details. So let me quickly fill in my details so that I can sign up and uh, here I'll mention details.
starting with your family name and the first name then date of birth this should be completely as per the passport you do not uh, make any mistakes here because you won't be able to rectify this later so this should be completely as per the passport you have and now i'll be mentioning the gender here you have to mention all the details and phone telephone number of the country you hold and then nationality mention the nationality as per the passport you have and if you are dual citizenship do not mention the korean one avoid that and in this there is a criteria that none of your parents should have the korean citizenship even if you have one you should avoid that here in the form so choose the country and here is the zip code you should mention as per the passport then the correspondence address and then these are the by default program so which program do you wish to apply ms or phd or both integrated program so you can select that and then choose the stream or the department that you wish to submit so here you can see i'll be going for the uh here you can choose any of the this is in just a demo video so that you can easily understand the process so i'll be going with the, this chemistry and then you have to mention the email So I am mentioning my email here. Now here you can see they have by default given you the name of this, and we can continue the second part of the email here. So you have to just mention now create a password. You should suggest a password through the Google so that you can use a strong password here. and now we'll just you have to take this privacy agreement and then supervisor mention the name and then click on save here so you can see email address also is already registered okay let's use a different email so let me just get a temp mail so that we can submit one disposable email here I already have signed up with this email so you cannot twice sign up with the same email so this may cause an issue here let me copy the email and paste it here this part you have to crop and paste it on the second side of the email form here I have done now I'll click on save you can see do you want to save click on yes click OK so click on privacy policy agree to this terms and conditions now click on save click on OK here you can see we have successfully signed in and this is the online application form starting the first semester spring season session 2026 and now you have to find a university here so we'll be submitting this GIST or the current university that you have completed your previous degree you can mention that so I'll be mentioning here and then the department you wish to apply you have to mention that so here you can see online part of the application is done now to the second part <coughs> you have to mention the Korean proficiency language so I do not have any proficiency in the Korean language I'll be skipping this part then you have the recommendations so mention the name of the professor you have recommendations the country he is from so I recommend you just give the academic references if you have professional you are in the employment so give the professional references one from the academic and one from the professionals now mention the name of the institute that the recommender is uh, from and the department so you should try to get the recommendation from the same department where you are applying it must be at least a relevant field 
and then click on the send recommendation form click on ok so request has been sent to the professor click on ok so mention no here if Korean is not your native language and then second recommender and his nationality and institute department and the email after that contact number and then click on send recommendation form click on ok click on save click on ok so field is required there something is missing so i have to agree to this now click on save after that your education details so you have to add details one by one here so click on new so you have to choose the date of admission so i'll be mentioning my bachelor's here because i am applying to masters and graduation date when did you complete your graduation so i'll be mentioning that country from the home country i have completed i'll mentioning that university name and subject major and then the gpa so choose from the scale here if you have percentage system you can mention that now i click on save okay mention all the details here so i am mentioning the bachelors here then academic advisor name of the academic advisor you had then subject so now i'll click on save you can say it's done after that we have to mention the verification so degree verification mention the institution name here so you have to agree then authority name and student id then date of confirmation when you were awarded the degree after the degree title bsc msc or whatever is your title of the degree you should mention that then registrar's information from the university so whoever is your registrar so you should mention the name of him and so that your degree can be verified and the official phone number so the country you are applying from they will be confirming the details from the same country so they will be calling your university regarding the degree and now major field of the study plan you have intended to submit here and reason to study in the Korea you should justify it then if you have any key achievements you can submit them then goal of the study and study plan you should mention all the details here and action plan after study will you be returning home country after completing the degree you should mention all the details here then give the self introduction do remember that you should at least mention 500 words here and then now you have to upload the transcripts so first we'll upload the bachelor's transcript all the files must be apostilled and then they will they should be uh, in the pdf format in the scan copies and then you have to attach them here if you are yet to have any apostille on them you should at least have the higher education authority stamp on them so that they be verified from the local government that your degree is valid and if you are from any of the centrally funded institutions in your country then you should not do that process only the apostille is required when you have the offer in your hand now i'll click on save and i have uploaded both the documents here 
now i'll upload the english test score i will upload my ielts score here if you have toefl score you can mention that as well in the records so it will enhance your application and will definitely uh, give you an edge in the form now click on the save now i'll upload the copy of a passport 80 score is at least required for the ielts and toefl so that you fulfill the shortlisting criteria of the authority now i'll click on save again and upload the passport copy here i have completed all the parts of the application now we have only this submission agreement so i am agreeing to that you can see all the sections are complete almost complete and let me click on submission would you like to submit if you submit a modification it is not possible okay photo must be uploaded so let's upload a photograph here where does it mention a photograph you have to submit a photograph here okay we have to select a photo here let me just choose a random photo So let me upload a photograph of uh, JPG type. I have uploaded a photograph here. Now I'll click on upload button. You can see a demo photo has been submitted here. I'll scroll down. Now click on the submission. Click on OK. Click on OK. English certified proficiency must enter at least one case. OK, we have to add an test here. So click on new and select the test. So I'll mention this and select the test date. Now click on save. OK. Scroll down. Click on submission. Click on OK. OK. Key achievement is required. So let's mention some key achievements here. So at least all the sections are required. So click on OK. Your application has been submitted successfully. Click on OK. So now we go to online application system. Here you can see our application has been submitted. Now we cannot edit the application. Now we can just view the preview of the application. And in order to submit new application, you should create a new account. But the passport number, you cannot submit the application twice. Just you can change the subject. You can submit multiple number of applications maximum to the three just changing the subject not the passport number or the application details so go back to the online system this was today's gist scholarship for the south korea all the parts of the application were shown this in in this application video if you have doubt in any of the sections just comment down below the video and also you can message us directly on instagram or you can you can see also we have received the email regarding the submission. You can see. Thank you. We have received your online application. Please ensure that your referee submitted a recommendation letter before the deadline. And the results will be announced for the spring admission first week of December and fall for the first week of June. So you should hope for your best. And in the meantime, do remind your recommenders to submit the uh, letters before the last date. So last date is 2nd of October. Here I have again mentioned it. 2nd of October is the last date. And you should submit the application before this. And with this I am signing off for today. Keep watching. Keep subscribing. Have a nice day ahead.